God flapping, damn it. Okay, so. I finally got my desktop up and going. I'll show you guys. Let's see. Can I turn this at the. Nope, it's just picture. Okay. So I finally got my desktop up and going. Um, it has Windows on it. I tried to put Kden Live, which is a Linux program, onto it because I'm planning to use Kden Live as my main uh, video editor, at least until hopefully I get a Mac and start using uh, Final Cut. But this is uh, the Kden Live for Windows is beta. And so this is what's happening to it. I don't know if you probably can't really see it too well, but let's see if I can zoom in. Nope. Can't zoom in or out in this mode. Okay. So over there is the television, and it's if you look in the top corner, you might be able to see it's really, really tiny. It says not responding. So it uh isn't gonna work. I was gonna actually edit a video together today. I guess uh I don't really have time tonight to um, whatchamacallit, download Linux onto the this computer and, uh, you know, install all the drivers and do all the stuff that's necessary to make Linux run. So, instead, I'm just going to have this quick little video. Just have another one come out. Uh, I think one of the main things that I've learned throughout all of this so far is I need to be prepared earlier than fucking 9.30 I think it's around the time it is right now. No, it's it's almost it's past ten. No, never mind. It's nine forty-four. But yeah, so um, this video is going to be nothing. It's brought to you by a shitty computer and uh, a poor quality application. But it's still pretty cool because at least I'm making a video. It's it's not working at all. So, I might as well talk a little bit about something that is near and dear to my heart. And that is depression and anxiety. <laughs> this is just a huge turn. Um, so. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, depression and anxiety. This is me doing the arrogant like two hands if there's a mirror right here I'd be able to like do it but I'm holding the phone with my other hand oh well uh, so as I'm sure many of you who are watching know I have dealt with a, a severe depression for much of my life um, a bipolar depression uh, where I would I would be happy sometimes like very very happy uh, not like a bad bipolar what you would call manic depression but I did have like a, a hypomania, like a sort of a little mi miniature, tiny little mania that I was typically in, in for the most part, control of. But whenever I felt that feeling, I would know that a depression feeling was right around the corner and those would last for weeks or months. Um, all of a sudden, I kind of stepped out of it. Uh, there's several reasons why. I started eating healthy. I stopped smoking pot. I, uh, I got... Uh, what do you call it, started exercising a little bit more, started meditating, uh, and I started to just go out more, just talk to more people, trying to, man, I feel like it's shaking like a mother, I'm going to try to keep it as still as possible, but yeah, just started to uh, do more things that ended up entertaining me and uh, bringing out my spirits, uh, and I think that age probably had a little bit to do with it, I was just at a time where I was just all of a sudden, just like, Fuck this shit. I don't want to be depressed anymore. I'm tired of it. I want to step out of it. And I did. I don't know how it happened, but I did. I mean, I have a few ideas, as I mentioned, you know. I want to elaborate more on it later on. I think I'd mentioned a video about depression that I want to do that I was going to label depression is not your fault, but it is your responsibility. Um, and that's really just going into the reasons why you can't blame others for your depression or you can't blame their lack of helping you on a regular basis um, for your depression and you, you can't blame them at all for any of that it's really it's not their fault either but yeah I'll elaborate more on that later on uh, this video I want to more in particular talk about that uh, I used to have a really bad depression 
and a sort of bad anxiety. And I would sit around a lot. I wouldn't do much because I, like, if I if I was too active, then my depression would get worse, but my anxiety would get a lot worse. Then eventually I found out that being active actually, well, it made it, the depression worse for a little while. I would kind of get used to that, and uh, the movement, the action itself, I don't know what it was, but it ended up making me feel less depressed. But my anxiety started to get a little bit worse. And through meditation and various things, I was able to, you know, conquer that or, or uh, hold that back, rather. I do still get, like, really sad sometimes, but it's not like the several week or several month monstrosity like it used to be. But I do still feel anxiety on a regular basis. That's not fun. But it is what it is. Um, lately, I, uh, I've i started to realize that when I'm not doing very many things, I get really bored. And that boredom tends to lend itself to a deeper depression. Or to bring that depression back. And so it's like, I feel like the more I'm active, the less depressed I am. But the more anxious I am. But the less active I am, the less anxious I am, but the more depressed I am. And it's like this, this balance that I have to somehow land in between in order to not be either too depressed or too anxious in life. And personally, it might just be because I never dealt with an extremely bad anxiety, but I feel like being anxious is easier on me than being depressed. Uh, I may be wrong, maybe someday I'll have some really horrible panic attacks, like a whole bunch of them in a row, and uh, and just be like, fuck this, I'd rather just be sad. Uh, but then again, it probably is really like, you know, grass is greener on the other side kind of thing for for everyone and for myself as well. Like, if I'm feeling really bad depression, of course I'd rather feel the anxiety. And if I'm feeling really bad anxiety, I'd rather feel the depression, even though in reality, I'd probably just be just as miserable with either and it's that balance that I'm trying to seek out and I'm trying to to maintain uh so yeah that's a that's just a little bit of background about me and about my depression and my anxiety uh to recap I've learned that being really active will make me a little more anxious but it will make me less depressed and being way too le too little active Having way too little activity will make me more depressed, but less, less anxious. Did I say that backwards? I think I may have. Whatever. I think I got the point across. Uh, so yeah, I, I will very likely film... Uh, well, actually, I'm planning tomorrow to edit this video, see if it turns out well. If it doesn't, I have the day off tomorrow, so... I will uh, make sure to get Linux on this computer and get Kaden live. Uh, you know, up and running, so it's not gonna be the freaking it's still. It's just fucked. It's just fucked. I'm gonna make it so it's not fucked anymore. And, uh, edit that video, see if it's good. If it's not, go and film something else a little more exciting. I, just, I said, uh, yesterday in the, the description that I, I wanna up my game. I've, I've made a few decent videos, but the laptop I've been using is such shit that I just can't edit on it at all. It just literally, it's so bad, it's so bad. But, hopefully, bleh, bleh, hopefully, bleh, tomorrow I should be able to, uh, to do some editing and start filming some interesting stuff again. Hope you guys have a good night. Maybe you learned a little bit about me. Maybe the things that I've told you will help you a little bit. I do hope that my depression video in the future is going to help some people. But in the meantime, hope you have a good night. And peace out.